dance for us. Catchy, right? Well, it should be. Music in comics is supposed to be catchy, very simple, and easily identifiable. Take this for example. The word Transformers comes up multiple times. There's a single steady beat going all the way through, and there's really only a couple of different musical elements going on at any given time. But this is exactly what comics are, too. All that they want to do is impress that they're unique and have a catchy theme. The movie industry, on the other hand, is completely different. They want to have a much richer sound, with much more complex layerings of voices. They want to see more sophisticated, appealing to a much broader audience instead of just the young audiences as before. But this is not just unique to Transformers. In Batman as well, we see the movie form taking on a much more complex layering. See, there's an entire symphony throughout this movie as well. See here you can hear the brass holding out that note, and then you hear the swell of the strings combined with other woodwinds, then you hear the brass again, and throughout you have this nice percussion melody still keeping that steady beat. And back to the land of cartoons we go. Here we go again. A very identifiable theme. Listen how there's only two voices now. Well, I guess three. You have the keyboard, you have the percussion, and then you have the electric guitar in the back. But that's it. Very different from a symphony. Because, like the cartoons, this music only wants to be catchy. 